Whoa. So what's the first thing you're supposed to do with Alpha OBD? Stay tuned, I'll show you next. Fired up, baby. Oh yeah, and if you're a visual learner like me, smash that subscribe button. Whoa. Whew. That is some powerful stuff. Thank you for joining me. This is Big Daddy's house. My name is Adam. Today I'm gonna to show you the first thing you should do with Alpha OBD. And what exactly is the first thing you should do? Upload your system ID information to Google Drive. So I know this should have been the very first video I made and I just never did it. Didn't think there was a big enough need for it, but I've had many, many, many of you say, hey, why haven't you done this? This is the very first thing you should do. You haven't showed us how to protect ourselves in a matter of speaking. Uploading your information to Google Drive gives you the chance to look back onto it at a later date if something goes wrong or you made a change and it changed other things. You can go through the list and you can see what has changed differently than what it is now in the Alpha OBD app. So that way you can revert back on certain things to try to get your truck back to stock. Or maybe not back to stock, but back to where you were before you made a change that kind of fluffed things up. So the information I'm about to share with you comes from a write-up on the Rams forum from MP Grim 2. I'll leave a screenshot somewhere around here of the write-up he did. We're gonna put it right here. So this is a screenshot of his write-up and I'm basically gonna make a video upon that showing you guys step-by-step step how this is performed. If you're new to the Android platform, which is the only way that you can use Alpha OBD, let me back up. The other way is a Windows computer, but most of us use an Android phone and it has become apparent that a lot of people are coming from Apple and they're buying a used Android phone or a tablet and they're not familiar with Android. So, first thing you're gonna wanna do, ice cream. Sorry guys, I got ice cream cake waiting for me downstairs. <laughs> it, yeah, it's fine. I'll come back to it. Um, give me some ice cream cake. Okay, so before we go out to the truck, the first thing you need to do is check to make sure you got Google Drive on your phone or tablet. If most likely it's already installed, but sometimes some phones or Android devices won't have it in pre-installed. Easy to install. I'll show you how to do it right now. Just go to the Play Store. And then at the top here, type in Google Drive, which I already had done. That's why it's right there at the top. And then you hit Install, top right-hand corner. And then Accept. And then we'll let it go through its spiel. Score! All right, so then you tap on Google Drive. And it should automatically set up with the account you provided when you first got your phone. But we're about to see right now if it does. And there we go. All right. So now we have Google Drive installed on the phone. Okay, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know right off the bat, you're gonna need the OBD Link MX. Now, there is an MX Plus, and you don't really even need it because MX Plus only works with Apple, and Alpha OBD is not available for Apple. So unless you wanna connect another app to your Apple device and then use the Plus version of this, you can. But other than that, you might as well save yourself 10 bucks. Next, you'll need an Android phone and or a Windows computer. And then you'll also need the Alpha OBD app. 
now we're gonna go out to the truck and do the fun stuff. All right, the OBD link. This is exactly where you put it. Ugh. Put the key in, turn two clicks. One, two. And we'll let this uh, go through this little spiel. Windshield wiper fluid. Well, get something else I need to do. Uh, all right then, so let's just get started. Tap the Alpha OBD app, fire it up. And we are gonna, well, I always use Bluetooth. You can also use Wi-Fi like I've stated before. So touch the Bluetooth icon and we are gonna link to the OBD Link MX by touching just that. And if you've never used it before, uh, down at the bottom, you just hit uh, more devices and then it will show up that way. So next we are going to basically, I'm going to show you straight from the beginning. So the beginning would be you would touch Dodge Ram right there, which I just hit and then select car model. I'm going to touch that and the car model we are in is a 25th or 14. Woo. What am I thinking? Uh, Ram 1500. Where are you? There he is. Ram 1500 DSDX. We will tap that. Select function. We will tap that. And then we want to select body computer. I'll tap that. And then select control unit. Tap that. And then since I'm a 2014, I'm going to be using body computer my 2013 through 17 power net i will tap that and then this red connect bar right here i'm gonna hit that so then we're gonna hit the tool icon which is this one right here tap that and then we are going to um select upload to google drive select that And then what we're going to want to do is sign in. And I've already signed in. So it already has, I mean, I'm not going to show you what my personal email is, guys. I mean, I do trust most of you, but anyways. Um, if you haven't already signed in, another box will pop up and say sign in as whoever and you would touch the Gmail you want to sign in as. And then what we want to do is upload faults and status log. I will touch that. And you want to, um, the data load you want to use is body Chrysler info. So we'll touch that. Successfully uploaded body crash info to Google Drive. So we'll back out of that. And then what we'll do is check Google Drive. Yes, I want to quit. Okay, now we're going to go to Google Drive. We will tap Google Drive. And we'll see if it's in there. Bam. There it is. And that's how you do it, guys. That is everything that my truck has on it at this moment. What features are turned on, turned off. So you could scroll through this and you can see what is what has changed or not changed. This is the very first thing you want to do. That way you can compare two logs together and uh, you could see where you went wrong. All right. Well, I'm out of the truck now, but there's something I probably should have showed you guys. So even though I'm not connected to the truck, I'm going to go through the procedure and uh, 
throw it up here for you. And then this is basically if you just want to look at your system uh, information directly from the app and not upload it to Google Drive. So we'd fire up Alpha OBD again. And since I'm not in the truck, I'm not going to connect, but you would do the same procedures before you would hit uh, Bluetooth icon and you would connect to the OBD2 reader. And then, then we would hit uh, select control unit and then it would be the same 2013, 17. And then it's going to, well, I'm not even going to try to connect it because there's nothing, I, I'm not even in the truck. You would hit the battery icon down here at the bottom and then where it says read system ID, you would tap that right here and then that would populate all of the information that we basically just uploaded to Google Drive. So that's a way you could read it on the app itself. I wanted to show you that because I thought that would be useful information too. They kind of go together. Anyway, Alpha OBD, very first thing you should do, upload to Google Drive. If you guys have any questions or comments about anything that I've said, leave it in the comment section. If uh, I can't answer the question for you, I'm for sure just going to refer you to the RAM forum, which is where I learned everything that I've known. And I'll leave that link in my description also. Like I've said before, I highly recommend that you become a member of the RAMS forum. The people in there are amazing and they will help assist in situations that if any of us get into a bind. So hit that RAMS forum link and become a member and say Big Daddy's House sent you. And live your best life. Big Daddy.